My name is Scott Wells. I'm a special agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation in Jackson, Mississippi. And today we're going to be talking about a security issue as it relates to the Internet uh, for our youth and children in the United States. What is the FBI doing about this? Well, unfortunately, with the nature of the Internet, um, uh, young children have been able to participate in it and are starting to participate in it at, on a more and more uh, younger age. Um, and so what's happened is that, unfortunately, they've been exposed to some of the safety issues that we've known about as adults. Um, what some of those issues are cyberbullying, um, having to deal with online predators, uh, the proper use of uh, internet software, um, cell phones, instant messaging, uh, and software like that. And the FBI has started a program. Tell us about that program. What's the name of the program and what does it do? The name of the program is Secure Online Surfing and it was a program that was started by um, a university in Florida in conjunction with our Miami division in 2005. And in 2009 it was taken over by our Innocent Images National Initiative which is the organization uh, that's part of the FBI that handles combating online predators and child exploitation. The program's name is FBI SOS. Uh, tell us about that title. Uh, certainly SOS, uh, people are familiar with what SOS means and so what the FBI wanted to do is create an initiative that helped children to learn what it looked like whenever they were being targeted and or experiencing some sort of internet safety issue and it has games that are designed to ask them questions and then help them learn what safe online surfing would look like. Why does uh, such a program like that need to be in existence? Well again, un unfortunately with the nature of the internet, um, anybody can participate in the internet and that includes criminals and people that are wanting to exploit children for one reason or another. Um, one of the issues that children and youth are going to have to face over the next few years is the concept that once information becomes digital, it never really goes away. And so they can do things that can affect their future down the road. And that's why some of the initiatives as part of SOS are important. It teaches them what should I be putting on my um, information sharing application like Facebook. Um, what does it look like when someone is um, trying to attempt to get me to give them information that I shouldn't, that could affect my credit later on? Trust me, they're not worried about that right now, but it could have lifelong effects. What's going to happen when I take a picture of myself and upload it to the Internet? How long does that stay? Well, it stays forever. And so these are some of the issues that they might not know, but could have long-reaching consequences for them later in life. What kind of response and feedback have you gotten to the program so far? Oh, well, we've had great response and feedback, and consistently we've had more and more participants throughout the years. Um, since its initiation, uh, we have had over 41 schools and 90,000 students participate in the FBI SOS program. Now, where can adults get more information about online safety? Well, they can, they can get that uh, by going to two different websites. Uh, certainly, they can visit our website, www.fbi.gov forward slash Jackson, they can go to the SOS site itself, sos.fbi.gov, and there are resources that are available off both of those sites, specifically for adults, um, that they can then read and learn about more information. Are you encouraged by the potential that this program offers? Oh, most certainly. Um, of course, I work for the FBI, and so I believe uh, in the causes that it fights for and that it stands for. And, um, I think it's a great initiative. I've uh, gone to the website and participated in it myself and can see that it has great potential to help uh, children and youth to be able to recognize what, what dangers of surfing on the Internet are and how to combat those. What we're looking at now is our website, www.fbi.gov forward slash Jackson, and you can see um, one of our top stories was the safe online surfing the new cyber safety website launched and so if you click on the details on that story uh, it will take you to um, a news article that has to do uh, with a more in-depth um, uh, write-up on what the safe online surfing is 
one of the questions you had asked me earlier was where can adults go to find uh, more about safety and uh, you can see one of the links is scams and safety on our website. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, take you through how you can get to the SOS site and what it will look like once you get there in an example of one of the games. You can get there by two different ways. You can go to our website, um, go to the, uh, click on the details of the Safe Online Surfing link, um, and that will take you to that write-up that has more information. Uh, certainly that would be one of the first things that a parent or a teacher wanting to sign up their school would want to do. Um, you can also notice that it also has information about our Child ID app on that website. Now there's a link at the bottom that will take you straight to the Safe Online Surfing website. That website is sos.fbi.gov. Once you get there, you'll see that the SOS site is broken up by grade level, uh, which means that the, the games that are included uh, would be age appropriate for children that would be inside that grade. Once they click on there, you get into the site and there are different numbers based on the number of games that are available on the island uh, for that grade level. Once you get in, it's very easy to navigate uh, inside the game itself. And what it is is based on a question and answer type scenario. So I click uh, the monkey on that side. It stops on cyberbullying. It asks, asks me a cyberbullying question. I read through it and then I make a choice and depending on what choice I make I either get it right or wrong. You can see at the bottom there is a take the exam link and what that will do is take you to the exam um, at the end of the uh, game when you're done going through all the different numbered games that are available and that's how you participate in the contest between other students at other schools around the nation. Let's go back to the game uh, demonstration again if we could and I remember you said that it, it uh, is age appropriate so you have different uh, different ages. This is the third grade uh, screen and the theme is uh, Tropical Island. What, is, what are some of the choices that the, the students have and what are some of the things they're going to learn about? Um, some of the things that, that they're going to learn about um, are the topics that we discussed earlier. So they're going to have uh, each of these different games. It, one of them might be um, internet safety as it relates to cyberbullying or what sort of information is appropriate to give out on a social networking site. Some of them would have to do with um, proper cell phone usage. What should or shouldn't I do when I'm using a cell phone or what information should or I should not give out. Uh, what's proper to do when I'm using an instant messaging application? Um, when somebody asks me for my personal information, is that okay if I don't know who they are? So each of the different games is, is going to uh, be asking questions uh, along the lines of the uh, main topics that the FBI wants to try to teach children to be safe about. Let's go back to the screen where we are able to see the different grade levels so uh, so parents and children can see uh, exactly what is available. So you've sure. got a, a fourth grade, a fifth grade. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. That's correct. And now uh, each one of them has different topics? That's correct. Well, each, each of them are going to have different games that are going to be geared towards all the same topics. So they're going to cover all the topics in the third grade that they are in the sixth grade but of course the sixth grade questions are going to be a little more in-depth they're going to be a little harder um, because the uh, children in the sixth grade are going to be more uh, used to using the internet they're going to have used it longer they're going to be using different uh, types of applications uh, more instant messaging applications say a third grader might only use one but a sixth grader might know about four or five. And so, uh, and an eighth grader would even know more then. And so what it's going to do is get a little more in-depth um, based on your age. Now so, I notice up at the top it says teachers sign up and teachers. What do you have available for teachers? Go ahead and show us. We encourage teachers to visit the website. Um, what has to happen is that a teacher has to sign up uh, with the SOS uh, website and then that gets validated as a legitimate school so that we know someone is not trying to get onto the application um, that isn't supposed to be on there. 
And so once they're validated as an accredited school, then they're able to say our school and the students in our school would like to participate in this FBI SOS challenge to be awarded some of the trophies or prizes. So we're now back on the, uh, the main website. Show right. both uh, students and parents what they should do when they come to this website. When they come to this website, what they'll want to do is click on the, the details link underneath the safe online surfing so that they can be directed to the news article write-up that gives them more details about what safe online surfing is and they can read through the instructions and there's also a link straight to the safe online surfing website. And there. one more time that website is? SOS.FBI.gov. What type of feedback have you had from, uh, from parents? Uh, parents are very appreciative of this. You know, um, if I were a parent, I, I could imagine that um, it would be very, there are some things that are very difficult to talk to your children about. Sometimes you feel like you don't have all of the answers. Uh, sometimes you feel like you don't maybe know the nomenclature that they would be used to. One of the things that children are not afraid of is using technology. And so it would seem like, and most of the time they do know more than most of the adults that they are around. And so as a parent, some of the feedback that we've gotten and that I would like is knowing that someone else has already gone out and done all of the research and become familiar with all of the information. And then I can guide my children to that information and participate with them while they're using something like the SOS program. What age is, is appropriate for children to start using the internet? Um, certainly we would always defer to the parents as far as their right to determine what their children should or should not doing, uh, be doing and when they should or should not interact with the internet. Certainly the SOS program starts with them in the third grade. Um, different schools are going to uh, utilize different technology at different times. So if I were a parent and my child came to me and said, my school is issuing this kind of technology or using this kind of technology, I would immediately want to know what are the pros and cons of that and should I be concerned, is there a safety issue related to that technology that I need to educate myself and my children on. Just how serious is the problem of predators getting on the internet and using social media to try to uh, 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 attack children? Unfortunately, it's rampant, um, which is why we need software like this. We need applications like this. Um, it is by far the most dangerous thing that children and youth have to contend with on the internet. Uh, there's always been this open level of trust built into the internet and unfortunately um, when dealing with online predators or people involved in child exploitation um, our level of paranoia just needs to go up and so it, it is something that they need to be very aware of every time that they get online. What role can teachers in, in Mississippi play in, in, in helping their students uh, to learn about safe use of the internet? Uh, certainly by making it part of their curriculum. Certainly by realizing that uh, the internet is a very useful tool. It's fantastic for education. It's a wonderful example of how a free society with an open flow of information can use that to better themselves. But it's also just a new conduit for criminals to be able to conduct criminal activity. And so we uh, need to be able to recognize that and then have that in the back of our minds every time that we interact uh, online with, with anyone using any sort of technology. In conclusion, what would you like people to keep in mind about the FBI's initiative in this area? Uh, the FBI uh, really wants to make sure that people know that we're staying on the forefront of emerging technology and what could be used by criminals to uh, perpetrate crime in the United States, whether that be against children or whether that be against adults or whether that be against us as a nation. And so we would like for people to know that they can reach out to us, that we will have information available to them. If they're unsure of the resources, certainly contact your local field office and they will put you in contact with the people that can answer the questions that you might have.